how to make an animated GIF file. Now, animated GIFs are different from other animations in that if you're playing a movie, it will play once and then stop. Animated GIFs repeat indefinitely. So I only have two images here, but it will flash between these two images for as long as that file is open. It will never stop. Also, I can't have any sound. It's going to be totally silent. So the file size is actually going to be smaller, even if it's a full-size image. Now, I have these two files all set up, so we don't have to watch me create those right now. I need to select everything. I can do that by pressing Control A, and that will select everything. I can do that by holding down the Shift key. After I click on the first image, hold down the Shift key, click on the last image. That selects everything. It's just two pictures, so it's really not that big a deal. If you're doing a GIF that has more pictures, that's more of a big deal. I recommend once you have everything selected, going over to the duration here on the side and turning it down to 0.1. That's 10 frames per second. Most animated GIFs that I've seen, the faster they flip between the images, the better the quality of the animation. So I turn that down as far as it can go. Depending on how you like the output, you might want to have it take longer, but there's nothing in the rubric for any animated GIF assignment that I'm giving that requires a minimum duration. So you could turn that all the way down and still get an A. Now once I have my duration set, it's time to export this. To export it, I go up here to where it says Make, and I'm going to click on Make. It will ask me if I want to save my changes. You should always save your unsaved changes to make sure you can go back to it and fix something if you need to fix it. So now it's going to save my work. And now I can export. Now, normally you would export for web file or go to export mode. In this case, we have a little thing on the side here that says GIF. I'm going to click on the little hummingbird and it asks me where I want to save it. I'm just going to go ahead and save it. Uh, yes, replace this. I've already done this before. And we're done. It'll ask you if you want to launch it. Launching it won't always open it in something that will show the animation. What I normally do when I want to view an animated GIF file that I've created is I first find the image. In this case right there. And I drag it into a web browser. And the web browser will play it just fine. 